exactly. Um, and, what, yeah. Yeah, and I think what you said too is very important about the integrated nature of we are body, we are mind, and we are soul. We are all three together. And, you know, the idea is that that is why in Islam, those three are never separate. If you look at the Muslim prayer, what is it? You pray, we pray with our bodies. Mm. Our bodies are moving. We're praying with our tongues and our minds because we're saying and reciting certain things. And obviously, the most important thing, where is the heart? Yeah, but that's yeah. not the only thing. It's all three together. Yeah, and from yeah. a Christian perspective, it's like, well, who cares where you're standing? Why do you have to wash yeah, before yeah, yeah, praying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, why would you wash before you pray? Well, no, because you have to be in a state of physical ritual purity. Well, why? You know, Jews understand. The, the, the only there, but the only there in the Bible, the, the prophets Moses and so on are all depicted as doing wudu before they prayed. Right. Well, what? Absolutely, this was the norm, biblical norm. But today, it's it's completely right. like many other things in the Bible, completely forgotten by contemporary. Christians. In submission, ultimate, you know, attitude of submission is to take your head, which is the highest part of you, right, and your it contains your brain and your face is the most noble part, and to put it literally at the lowest. Yeah. point which is what jesus is portrayed as doing on. in the gospels jesus is portrayed as doing that. Right. many of the prophets Absolutely. As well. yeah and yeah. when you do it you're saying subhan rabbi al-a'la glory mm. be to my lord the highest so he's the highest and you're putting your highest part in the lowest and that's the proper relationship because he's the master and you're the cre- he's the creator and you're the creature and that's where freedom true. comes from the islamic claim freedom Absolutely. freedom from nafs freedom from the dunya which enslaves and takes us over whereas the world looks to the dunya for freedom right uh, and of course doesn't find it because it's of course, right. more of the same <laughs> so right and, and not only is it freedom you know the ultimate true freedom but also it is the ultimate uh, realization of the actual human teleology because mm-hmm. you know in the quran wa ma jinna wal insa illa i did not create jinn and mankind except to worship me so worshiping and submitting to god is actually our own our deepest nature and objective nature right implanted in us by our creator and so this notion of the fitra right the fitra which is the 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 original human disposition the prophet peace be upon him said that every child is born on the fitra and then after that its children teach it you know different religion judaism christianity zoroastrianism something other than like just the pure kind of because these other religions they started but then they changed right anyway and so it's important that you know you just look at the muslim prayer that's why it's integrated and that's why all of life you know you come to sexuality it's it's neither you know it's not god in the modern world takes sex to be almost like god but it's also not the devil like i mean it's you know it's given its proper place and it's brought under the the realm so that's that's very important and uh, as you had said earlier this comes more from probably greek uh, you know, uh, certain tributaries and not oh, yes. really from the Hebrew. Uh, it's, it's, very, it's, very, it's very clear if, if, you, if you, you know a bit about Greek philosophy and Greek, Greek thought that this is very familiar territory. It's not, a, it's not that new at all, really. Right. 